Hi, this is Jörg, which is German for George, here at Final Job in Germany in Berlin. Do you guys also work with data engineers? And my answer, very short, very simple here is yes, we do. Because there is a growing demand for techies who have a focus on data engineering here. So this is what you should bring to the table if you're a data engineer and you want to find a job in Germany. First, let me tell you that back in 2020, when we started the company, we also only started out with software developers, Java, JavaScript. And then over the last years, we also constantly widened our portfolio and successfully helped other tech and IT professionals as well. So today is all about data technology and data engineering and what companies here in Germany are looking for if you're working in that domain. Here comes a very first important remark. You are a data engineer if you're first not a data scientist and second not a data analyst. And I'm saying this because both data scientist and data analyst roles here are different and distinct roles that will accordingly be labeled by German companies. And that also means if you want to target data engineering roles in Germany, you should have already worked in pure data engineering roles over the last ideally at least three to four to five years. If you ask me, it does not make any sense to combine the relocation process to Germany with a career change. And I will come to what I mean by pure data engineering roles here in a minute. So let me first distinguish between the various roles. I already teased on that a little. A data scientist will mostly be in charge of developing and implementing statistical and machine learning models, of course, to solve complex business problems. And these problems will, of course, depend on the kind of company or the kind of project you'll be working on that you'll be joining. Data analytics, again, is often much closer related to data engineering in that regard. And I know a lot of people started out with data analyst roles, and then they slowly shift towards data engineering activities. Most importantly, ETL pipeline design. In any case, data analysts are typically in charge of analyzing and interpreting ex existing business data for better business insights insights into business performance. And that, of course, includes extracting data from databases and performing basic statistical analyses. Now, data engineering is, of course, about designing, building, and maintaining the infrastructure itself that supports the data analysis. So it'll be the foundation for that. And that is also why some people also shift into that field after some time, and it makes sense. What matters most for you now is that you're able to handle large volumes of data and, of course, create pipelines that move large data from various sources into data warehouses. Along with that comes the quality and the security of the data. So what does it take for you to have significant chances of getting a job as a data engineer in Germany? That, of course, will depend on your role and whether you were a team lead, for example, or you were part of a team, okay? So the level that you'll be joining. And first of all, you should have always migrated large volumes of data, say 100 terabyte. And this is just one example of client data, for example, from Hadoop clusters into the cloud. Also just one example. Most companies here use AWS, then comes Azure, and I personally advise everyone to go for AWS, really polish those skills in case you've not worked with AWS already, this is really important. Another activity that you should have vast experience with, of course, is managing the complete ETL process. For example, for batch processing, or you ingested the data from disparate data sources using SQL. And for more senior roles, that means you should have also led an agile team of, let's say, five to 10 people already using big data processing tools. So Databricks, uh, Apache Spark, Python, Delta Lake, only to mention a few. Speaking of Python, I can guarantee you that in your hiring process, those Python skills of yours will play a role, most likely in the technical round. So watch out for that. As a data engineer, you will need to be proficient in programming languages, even though you may think it's not at the same level as if you're a real programmer. But there's no way around that. That means predominantly Python, Java, and SQL as a database. Speaking of databases, uh, you need knowledge in relational and non-relational databases, of course. And I guess that goes without saying. One final remark here uh, is on data warehouses, though, which I had already mentioned. And you should really have experience working with 
data warehousing technologies. And these are, for example, Redshift, or most dominantly, I've seen that in the JDs here, Snowflake. And this includes knowledge of designing and implementing data warehouses and knowing how to optimize queries for performance purposes. Last but not least, I want to emphasize the non-technical part, because I can only repeat myself here, 50% of you getting a job in Germany will be based on your communication, just as it will be on your tech skills. Especially as a data engineer, you'll have to work closely with other members of your team and cross-functionally, of course. That means you relate to the data analytics people as well as to the product people and so on. It requires strong communication skills. So if you have already gained experience with all the technologies and all the skills I just mentioned in this clip and you're interested in finding a job in Germany, you can, of course, go ahead. Watch our video training to understand how we work. Our personal coaching program is really specifically tailor-made for people like you. And if you're not a data engineer, don't worry. We also work with other folks. And it's important that you understand how we work. And if you do, you can go ahead, book a get to know call with us. We'll take it from there. And of course, I invite you to subscribe to our channel to stay up to date. All the best from Berlin. See you soon.